Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of the book, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. And for this style, I will be teaching you how to do Ghana braids on your very own hair. Ghana braids are also commonly referred to as banana braids, but Ghana braids are also vastly different from a very popular style called cornrow braids. The difference between cornrow braid extensions and Ghana braid extensions is that Ghana braids have more of a natural appearance. You start off by using a small amount of extension hair to weave into your real hair, and then it begins to increase in size as you add more braiding hair. But with cornrow braids, it's very easy to see a small lump at the beginning of your braids and then the size of the braid is consistent from beginning to end. So a lot of people refer to Ghana braids as natural cornrow braids when really you start off with extension hair, but it's just a very small amount so that the progression of the braid looks a lot more natural. So the materials that you'll need to do Ghana braids will be six packages or bundles of synthetic braiding hair. You will also need a rat tail comb for parting your hair, a wide tooth comb for detangling your hair. You will also need duck bill clips to keep your hair sectioned. You will need hair gel to keep your hair slick when needed. And you will also need hair oil to add extra lubrication to your strands. And you will need hair cutting scissors to trim off any flyaways or ends to cut off from your extensions. So once you have all of your supplies and materials ready in the next step, step number two, I will show you how to do Ghana braids on your own hair step by step. Welcome to step number two of the Ghana braid hairstyle. And in this step, I will be showing you in detail, step by step, how to do Ghana braids on your very own hair. So first, before you actually begin braiding your hair, you want to take your rat tail comb and part off a section that you will be working on. Once you have your size of area of hair you'll be working on, I will then show you how to measure out pieces of your extension hair to gradually feed into your Ghana braids. Before you begin Ghana braiding your hair, you first want to section off the amount of hair you'll be working on. So I'm gonna start right here on the right side of my head and I'm gonna part an area of hair that I would like to be the size of my braid. If you want small Ghana braids, then part your parts small. If you want big ones, part them bigger. I'm gonna part about medium size amount of hair to do my Ghana braid extensions. And the way that you want to accentuate the part so that it looks very natural and realistic is to slightly part a curve near your actual hairline. So near my edges, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my comb and then I'm going to slightly part at an angle as I part straight to the back. So take the end of your rat tail comb and use that to help you part your hair. So now you're just gonna take a couple of duck bill clips and you're gonna keep your hair sectioned from the amount that you've sectioned off for your Ghana braids. So now that your hair has been sectioned, you wanna take your wide tooth comb, make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled, and then I will show you how to section off your extension hair for your braids. So now that you've parted your section of hair to serve as the size of your Ghana braid, I will now show you how to section your pieces of extension hair to feed into your Ghana braid. So to begin, you want to make sure that you have a one package or a bundle of synthetic braiding hair ready. You want to take off any rubber bands or any hair ties that's binding the hair together so that you can section the hair off effectively. 
So to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to part off 10 pieces of extension hair. You only need about 10 pieces for your Ghana braid and as you go up in size, you're gonna section off the amount of hair bigger than you were with your first braid. So to begin, what you're going to do is you're gonna first pinch off a small amount of hair because when you start doing your Ghana braid, you're gonna start off by corn rowing and then gradually feed the hair. So this is about the amount of braiding hair you're gonna start with. To know how much to actually section off, you have to practice at doing this style. So now I'm just gonna pinch off this hair here. And then I'm going to lay it on the edge of my table. You want to keep your sections of hair separate from one another so they don't get mixed and so that the braid can gradually grow in size so that it looks natural. So now when you're sectioning off your second piece, you're gonna make sure to add about a third amount more of the size that you have here. So the best way I'm going to explain that so you understand how to section your pieces of hair is first I'm gonna show you that I'm going to pinch off double the first amount of hair that I have here. So as you can see here by comparison, the first piece that I sectioned is about half of what the second piece is. But that's not how you're going to go in size. You're gonna go a little bit less than half. So per se, for this first piece, you're actually going to go up by adding about a third amount that you did with your original. So instead of going double as you go up with your strands, you're gonna go up by about a third of its size. So I'm just gonna pinch a little bit of hair off from this piece here. This is about the size you want to have from one piece to another. You don't want your pieces to go up by doubling in size. You want them to go up about 30% in size of what you originally started with. So now that I have my first piece here and my second piece here, I'm gonna go up in about a size of about 30% of what this is. So I'm gonna add an extra 30% of hair to my third piece. So you're gonna pinch off another amount. And this is your third piece of hair. You're gonna make sure to section off 10 pieces total so that you can gonna braid your first braid. So once you have your 10 pieces of hair section, we first will begin by grabbing the smallest piece of hair. We're going to begin by cornrow braiding our hair and then I will show you the technique of how to gradually feed every piece of your extension hair for your Ghana braids. So now that you have your 10 pieces of hair sectioned off for your Ghana braids, where I'm going to begin, I will first lubricate my scalp with a little bit of oil. So I'm gonna to reach to my table I'm gonna grab my hair oil and this is olive oil and I'm just gonna squirt it on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna use my fingers to lap up some of the oil and I'm just gonna rub it against my part. If your scalp is feeling just a little bit dry, you can put a little bit of oil on your scalp and also on your hair to help lubricate your strands as you begin braiding. So to begin, you first want to take your fingers and you're going to pinch off a small amount of hair here at the beginning of your braid. A very good Ghana braid starts off with a very small beginning. So I'm just gonna separate a little bit of hair from the beginning here with my fingers. Just gonna pinch off that amount there. So this is the amount of hair you're gonna start with, a very, very small amount of hair. Now I'm gonna to reach to my table and I'm gonna grab my smallest piece of extension. And the way that you start your Ghana braids is you start your Ghana braid as a cornrow braid. In a previous DVD, I teach you how to do cornrow braids on your hair. 
you first have to know how to do cornrow braids with extensions to do this style because this is like an advanced version of cornrow braids. This is called Ghana braids. So I'm just gonna go a little bit faster than normal since I'm not teaching you how to cornrow braid, I'm teaching you how to Ghana braid. So when you go through the motions of starting your Ghana braid, you're gonna separate this hair by pinching off a third of its size from itself. Then you're gonna put that third piece over the bigger piece to form your three legs of your braid. You're gonna grab the smaller piece of hair with your three fingers, twirl your hand underneath, and then open your pincher finger to hold that hair in the middle. Now we are going to begin Ghana braiding. So we're gonna go right up to the scalp and I'm gonna start on that little piece of hair here that I sectioned off. You're gonna grab that small amount of hair and you're gonna proceed like a regular corn roll braid. We're gonna braid 11 times. So that's one, two, three, and you're just gonna go to 11. So now I braid it all the way to 11 and now my right hand is free. You're going to reach to the table, you're going to grab your second piece of hair. Remember it's increasing by length. You're going to grab your second piece of hair, you're going to locate the middle area of that hair. Now what I like to do is throw the hair around my back like this. Bring my hand up, you're going to hold your hair with this hand here but you're gonna open up your ring finger to hook the hair in your hand because you need just a little bit of assistance to hold the hair. So now once you do that, keep that small or the other portion of hair behind you. Grab this hair and incorporate it with one of the legs of your braid. So I'm gonna pinch that together and then continue braiding. You're gonna braid about four times. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now whichever hand is comfortable for you, you wanna make sure if you're right-handed that you end with your right hand. So I'm gonna braid one more time so that way I can let go of my right hand to grab another portion of hair. So if you're right-handed, you want your right hand to be free to grab a next portion of hair. But if you're left-handed, you want your left hand to be free. That's just the way to help it go a little bit easier with this style. So I've braided about four to five times down just so that way I can free my right hand to grab my second piece of hair. So I'm gonna go to the table once again, grab that other piece of hair. This is my third piece. I'm gonna bring it back up and I'm gonna make sure one strand of the hair is behind my back and one is in my hand. So now that I have that middle section of this hair, I'm gonna use my ring finger to hook the hair into my hand, just to hold it there for security because this portion here will feed into my hair that I have in my hand. So I'm just gonna grab the other portion of my braid hair that I originally already have incorporated I'm gonna add that into the braid and braid down about four to five times until my right hand is free again. And you're just gonna keep repeating the steps until you've added all of your braiding hair. So now that my right hand is free, I'm gonna grab my other portion of hair here. Put it behind my back bring it up and hook it around my ring finger, just like this. And then continue to braid it into the actual braid itself. That's why it's very important that you already know how to cornrow braid, because if you don't know how to cornrow braid, the style will be very, very confusing. So 
now as I grab my next piece, you're just going to continue weaving it into your braid until all of your pieces have been incorporated. As you're braiding down, make sure that you occasionally stop to run your fingers through your sections of hair to make sure that it does not tangle. And then just continue to braid to the very bottom. There may be times also where you start to run out of hair on one leg of your braid. So as you can see, this is starting to get thinner here. And these two are about the same, but this one doesn't have much hair. So what you want to do is just pinch off one of the legs to add a little bit of more hair to the other leg. And then just continue braiding. So as you can see, that is your finished look to your first Ghana braid. In this step of the Ghana braid hairstyle, I taught you how to do your Ghana braids on your own hair, step by step. As you may have already noticed, Ghana braids is an advanced hairstyle. So in order to know how to do Ghana braids, you first have to know how to do cornrow braids. You can always refer to my cornrow braid DVD where I teach you how to do cornrow braids with and without extensions. Because once you know how to cornrow braid with extensions, then you are able to do an advanced style called Ghana braids. So to begin with our Ghana braids, we made sure to pinch off 10 pieces of extension hair from our bundle. As you begin, you start off with a very small piece and you increase in length by about 30% so that the graduation of each piece of your extensions will help give you a very natural flow to your Ghana braids. You also use your rat tail comb to part off the section of hair that you will be braiding. And a very good tip that you want to put along with parting your hair is that when you are close to your hairline, you want to part at a small curve. This allows for you to have very natural looking Ghana braids. So as you continue to braid your hair, you're gonna to continue to part a small curve at the beginning of your hairline going to the right. And then when you reach the left side of your head, you're gonna to continue to part a curve at the beginning of your hairline that goes to the left side. So now that I've shown you how to do your first Ghana braid, you're going to continue braiding all of your hair until you complete your look. And then in the next step, step number three, I will show you the finished results to your Ghana braid hairstyle. Here you have it, the finished results of your Ghana braids hairstyle. Have fun and enjoy your new look. So now that your Ghana braids are complete and finished, in the next step, step number four, I will show you how easy and quick and simple it is to take down your Ghana braids.
Here we are in step number four of the Ghana braids hairstyle. And in this step, I will show you how easy and simple it is to take down and remove your braid extensions. So what you wanna do when taking down your braids is simply use your hands to unravel your braids from the bottom all the way up until you work your way to the top to take down your extensions. You can also take them down by using hair cutting scissors, cutting off the braid length that you're comfortable with, and then continuing to take them down by hand. When taking down your Ghana braid extensions, of course you are going to do the same process to take down all of your braids. So you can take them all down by hand, or if it's comfortable for you, you can cut off a portion of the braid and take it down as well. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate on the braid that's here on the right side of my head. I'm gonna locate the bottom of that braid and I'm going to cut the braid off. So you can just cut the very ends if you want or if you're very comfortable to where the length of your hair is, you can cut wherever desired that you would like. So what I'm gonna do is just cut right here where the braid starts to become thick just so it's very easy for me to take down the Ghana braid. So I'm just gonna use my scissors to cut that off. Then I'm just gonna simply continue to unravel and take it down by hand. So as you can see, it's very easy taking down your Ghana braid extensions. Because you start off with such a small amount of extension at the beginning of your braid, it's very useful to use the end of your rat tail comb to help you further take down and remove your extension hair. So in this style, I've taught you plenty of techniques and tips that you want to incorporate to make this look very beautiful. I've taught you how to section off your extension hair to feed into your braid. I've also shown you how to do the Ghana braid technique, as well as other tips like parting, sectioning, and even the finished results with takedown. So now that you've watched the style, be sure to check out our videos blog, and online store at howtoblackhair.com. Thanks for watching.